everyone, I thought I would do a beauty post as a bit of a change. So I went out yesterday and I got loads of stuff from Boots and I'm gonna try it all out, do my makeup. You can tell I've got nothing on at the minute um, and try them all and see if they're any use for a mum on the run. So um, the first product I got was an illuminating prime primer by NYX. Um, it says Born to Glow. Uh, when you're mum, you need nice skin and also because you don't have time to look after your skin so much, you sometimes need a little bit of help. So I'm hoping that this will do that for me. It promises that if you um, put it underneath your foundation, that it'll brighten your skin and make you look glowy. So we'll see. So trying that first. I don't like to put too much on because I have quite greasy skin. So I kind of try and tend to have it as minimal as possible because I don't want to get like an oily T-zone when I'm actually wearing the makeup in the day. Um, NYX, they did do um, mattifying primers, but I was really interested to try and see if this illuminating one would do what it said on the tin. So I've got that on first. I don't know, maybe a little bit more illuminated. We'll see when we've finished. My next product was a, it's a matte but not flat NYX foundation. Uh, I normally go for expensive foundations like Estee Lauder, but I thought I would give this a try because we're going on holiday in a couple of weeks and I think that my shade will change, hopefully it will, if I have a tan and I didn't want to spend 30 plus quid on a foundation that I probably wouldn't use for very long. So I got this one in the shade of porcelain which is a little bit darker than my skin which i'm hoping will work out when i am on holiday so i always use one of these brushes not brushes uh sponges to get um the foundation on my skin because i find it works better than a brush sometimes a brush makes it sit on the skin itself rather than blending in but we'll see i always go in and out on the cheeks, downwards on the chin. And around the nose. I as again I try and use as little foundation as I can manage because I don't like being too caked in makeup. But I find that Estee Lauder double wear, you can use a little bit of that and it goes a long way. So I'm trying the same idea with the NYX. It doesn't look like it's very thick coverage. Um, it's blending okay. I'm not really convinced yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Next on my list is to do my eyes. So I also bought some NYX HD High Definition Eyeshadow Base. Um, I've been told that they're really useful to get, although I've never used one before. So I am going to try it out for the first time because I don't always wear eyeshadow. I tend to do eyeliner and um, mascara, but eyeshadows tends to be for when I'm out and about, uh, like on an evening out or on an event or something like that. But um, when I'm on holiday, I'll probably wear it a lot more. So this might go well in my holiday makeup bag. So I use the clear or the translucent shade. I mean, I can't see any difference at the minute, but probably once I put the eyeshadow on, it'll look better. And I'll let that settle while I do the rest of my face. So now onto concealer. Once again, it's an NYX HD Studio Photogenic, and this is in shade one which is also porcelain um i struggle with concealers to be honest i never find one that i really like i don't find one that actually gives me the kind of concealing i want because my eyes are always dark underneath with the um you know being with being a mum and that and i do struggle to kind of get my eyelids and eyeshadow and under my eyes looking kind of refreshed i'm not as young as i used to be but I've got a brush that I used from Wish, literally just 
four pound for like eight brushes and I found them really good but I'm just buffing it in from the outside to the inside in a triangle so I hear that's how he's best to do it no idea if that's true or not So that's worked really well under my eyes. My eyes look a little bit puffy still, but it's not a miracle worker. But it has kind of cleared up the kind of area. It doesn't look dark at all. Maybe a bit better. Hmm, quite impressed with that. Right, so <clears throat> next on my list, I'm going to put some powder on. I haven't bought any powder, so I'm just going to use the one that I've got in my makeup bag. Stay order. Oh, where are you? Here you go. Estee Lauder powder. I've got it in Ivory Nude, which is my shade that I was matched when I was there. So I just blot this in over my skin. I know I probably should use a brush for this as well, but I don't. Um, because I'm lazy. I've always found Estee Lauder to be really good. So, although I am not using the double wear today, I am using the double wear powder. Well, there we go. Pop a little bit under my eyes. No more shiny nose for me. Right, next step, a little bit of blusher. Another one I've bought is the NYX Baked, Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer. And it's a nice kind of pinky, goldy shade, which is reminiscent of the kind of um, bourgeois shades that they do as well. But I thought I'd try this for a change. I never got on very well with blusher because I can never work out what shade works for me. But we'll soon see. Just kind of buffing it onto my cheeks. can't say that I can notice it actually being on there. I don't want to use too much and look like I've been completely blushed to the hilt, but hmm, I can see a bit of goldiness. Maybe it's just quite subtle. Hmm. Not very convinced. It looks quite natural though, I suppose. Yeah, rather than really big and blushery. Right. So moving next onto my eyes, as I say I don't normally wear eyeshadow but um, because I'm going away I am going to have to get a nice palette to try. Um, I've got the Magnifies Eye Contouring Palette from Rimmel uh, and on the back it's got all of the shades and what to do and how to apply them so that you look like you've got contoured brows. So um, that isn't for me, I'm not very good at contouring anything. So I'm just going to go for it and try a couple of the shades that I think look nice and see how they look on me. So I'm going to go for the nudist shade for the outside. Yeah, looks alright. And then I'm going to probably go for a... Uh, goldy kind of shade. So that one there, see how that goes over the lid. So with the eyeline, eyeshadow primer, it's quite difficult to blend it. It tends to just stick where the brush is laid, which I suppose is a benefit in some ways, but I do quite like being able to blend my eyeshadow in. A little bit more on the inside there. Okay, and then a little bit of a darker shade, I think, as we get towards the centre. I 
that's gone a lot, a lot easier actually over the top of the other eye shadow. Okay. Right, so I have also got, um, I haven't got my eyeliner because I didn't buy any eyeliner, but I'm going to use the mascara I found, which is the NYX More to Love Lush Lashes Mascara. So I'm just going to pop that on and see what that looks like. Can't help but pull a silly face when I'm doing mascara. Now I do love to look like I've got really big lashes because I can't wear fake ones when I've got my glasses on because they bash against the glass. So I like to try and make my natural lashes look as long as possible. Clumpy. It's all right. Not too bad with that one, I don't think. Quite impressed. Hmm. I then bought the NYX Wonder Wonder Pencil in light, which is for the under eye region. Quite like the idea of having the uh, clear or white eyeliner on your bottom waterline because it makes your eyes look nice and awake got this last week but I thought I'd try it in the video anyway. Yeah, I like that. But I knew that already. Right, so lastly I'm on to my brows. Um, I've got this. I'm, I've never ever been one to know what to do with my brows. Um, I've not been the most fortunate when it comes to being sent with a uni brow. Um, but I do get that waxed regularly. Um, I've never kind of done the whole like colour in your brow thing because I never understood why I'd want to highlight my big brows but I thought I'd get on top of the parade. So I've got this, it's uh, L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Expert and that is in brown, I want to say, brunette. So let's try that. It goes on quite well, it goes on quite easily, it doesn't feel like it's caking on, just kind of covering what you've already got there. Which is nice, I like that. Good, there we go. I think that is about it, I don't want to overdo it on my brows. So, next step is pop my glasses on and see what I actually look like. Hmm. I think that's quite nice, quite a natural kind of look. I can see the blusher more now. Yeah. So that's my quick mum makeup, reviewing all the new makeup that I've bought. Um, let me know your beauty tips in the comments below and give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you've liked what you've seen. Um, if it goes down well, I'll do more of these. Uh, but for now, I am ready and I've got my makeup done. So I am off out. See you later. Bye.